What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be trying something a little different. I want to react to a video uh, that's science related since as most of you know I am a science teacher. Uh, I went to college for six years and earned a degree in earth and space science. Uh, so I thought it would be kind of funny to uh, react to flat earthers and what they have to say about their theories. So let's get into it and see what we can find. We'll start with some basic questions. Okay. The sky is... In a world where it feels like nothing is as it seems... Blue. It's blue, of course. Oh, the sky's blue. The sky is blue. Blue. One plus one is... Two. 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 There's at least one truth we thought was indisputable. And the Earth is... Flat. Flat. The Earth is flat. Round. Oh. Flat. My reality, my senses tell me that the Earth is flat and stationary. All right, here's the problem with your reality or your senses, is that your reality and your senses can't really sense how big the Earth is, right? The Earth has a circumference around of around 25,000 miles. It's a little under, but it's around 25,000 miles around. So the human eye can only see about three miles to the horizon. You could see things further if they're bigger or taller, but if you were flat, if you were to look flat, you could only see three miles into the horizon. Meaning that after about three miles, the earth starts to curve down and you can no longer see that. So my point is you're only seeing about 0.01% of the, of the earth when you're looking at the horizon. So your senses don't mean anything. But for the people attending the first Flat Earth International Conference here in Cary, North Carolina, their Earth is indisputably not round. Yeah, everybody here can agree on absolutely one thing. That you're crazy. Which is, it is not a globe. Oh, I, okay. For centuries, a flat Earth was accepted as certainty until science and sailboats said otherwise. And one of the rules of power is you never admit that there's someone bigger than yourself. But in 2015, this guy, Mark Sargent, posted his flat earth clues. Part of a series of clues that can help you get your head around both the design of the flat earth system we live in. You're kind of the like father of this oh, movement. Boy, how, how would you? <laughs> don't do You're that. You're the one who sort of started it all. All right, hold on. Let me stop him right there. So this dude's trying to act all modest and humble. Ooh. Oh, I'm not. I'm nobody. I'm not a big deal. Well, but he's wearing a shirt that says his name on it. I am Mark Sargent. Here, let me go back. Look at this clip. But in 2015, this guy, Mark Sargent, posted his... It says his name on his shirt. What kind of a person has their name on a shirt? Also, with that being said, new merch about to come out. Make sure you guys... I did not invent Flat Earth. All I did was walk up to a door point at it and say, you know what, I think there's some really interesting things on the other side of this and check it out for yourself. If Flat Earth is a university, you know, FEA, then I would be the freshman recruiter. People have traveled from around, actually, Mark would say, across the flat world to attend. The first rule of Flat Club is you don't talk about Flat Club. Oh my God. He made a Fight Club reference in, when was this film, 2016? That movie came out, what, hold on, I gotta check. That movie came out in 1999. That joke is 17 years old at this point, dude. 20 now, but 17 from the time that they were filming this. Oh my guy, you need some new material. He's probably been running that joke for decades. Until now. You know, I have a poem about that. It's uh, <laughs> right here. Amy Nicholson wrote a book of poetry about her flat earth journey. A few months flat and seven months to rally. Kim Gurley. They just cut her off. How bad was the poem? They, she, they just cut her? Hold on. Let's put, go back and play that again. A few months flat and seven months to rally. A few months flat and seven months to rally. Was that it? 
because that was all they showed. Came to the conference from Houston. I haven't really come out all the way yet. I'm still a little in the closet. <laughs> the North Pole's in the middle. Laney Inavali came from up. even farther. I mix with quite a lot of flat earthers in, a, in a New Zealand. You know flat earthers, I guarantee it. But you don't know who they are because they're afraid of talking about it. No, they're not afraid, they're embarrassed. One, two, three, we're not crazy! If your slogan for a club is we're not crazy, you, you might, you, you might want to think about the club that you're in, right? You don't see any other club people playing video games or YouTube clubs or old people that get together and play cards. They don't yell in a field, we're not crazy, because they don't have to prove that they're not crazy. We just know that they're not crazy. Like many modern movements, this one has grown in large part out of the internet with rappers like Odd TV evangelizing to hundreds of thousands of subscribers. Who are you? No more living on a cartoon ball. Bars. And YouTube channels like Globebusters. Encouraging skepticism about what you've been taught. For the serious students here at the conference, this has got to a point now where it's becoming real. It all comes down to proof. When it comes to science, there's things you can test right now, right? Fire burns, water's wet. Oh no. Oh no. This dude just said water is wet. Oh no. I actually agree with Mark Sargent on that. And I know that if you Google right now, now what is, Google is water wet. It's going to tell you no. But we can have that discussion another time. But I also agree that water is wet. But if water's wet and he thinks that the earth is flat, am I a flat earther? Have I been lying to all my students? and to myself and my family, my kids, this whole time? No, no, the Earth is round. Drop something, falls to the ground, that appears to be gravity. Those are things you can test, right? But the curving horizon, the sloping sea level, the spin of the Earth, unless you can see these phenomena with your own eyes, they may not be true. Right? A lot of people are going, this is This is crazy, crazy right? <laughs> But think about this, for the last 20, 25 generations, this is what we've told people. Unlike what we've been told in school, some flat earthers imagine the Earth looks like a snow globe, round, but not sphere. The North Pole is at the center of most flat Earth maps, with the ice of Antarctica holding everything in. So are you certain this is what the Earth looks like? Pretty sure. He's not even sure with his own answer. So are you certain that this is what the Earth looks like? Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm, uh, pretty sure. Almost. I mean, there, there are some details to be worked out, sure. But the basic concept is sound. Absolutely sound. And one thing, again, we absolutely know for a fact, this ain't it. So, those iconic blue marble images seen from space, flat earthers denounce them as fakes. You start seeing words like composite or animation or you know something that tells you this is not an actual photograph of the earth yes question so if you think I'm you like have questions um, feel free to line up and ask them while i'm reading the opening statement the flat earthers have yeah, many well. many more this is what returns to earth which is why i thought someone who's actually seen the earth from space might have some answers one plus one is two what color is the sky blue and the Earth is... Round. Hey, this guy's actually gone up in space. I'm gonna believe him. And he's got PhD after his name, so he probably knows what he's talking about. <laughs> it's like it is here, this model of it. Professor Mike Massimino spent more than 20 days in space and worked on the Hubble telescope. So when you lo looked at the planet, mm -hmm. what did it look like? looks round folks <laughs> look at his face too when he says it he's just like i can't believe we've reverted back there's people that think that the earth is flat i've s what <laughs> it is round my my eyewitness account and i looked at it as much as i could it is round okay we're in the final countdown 
How you doing over there? He's played himself on the Big Bang Theory, but some flat earthers actually believe astronauts are just actors, part of a huge conspiracy going back to those very first steps on the moon. It's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. You don't believe that they've gone to space? No, no, not at all. The rockets go up, sure. There's nobody in them. I hope you're ready to listen fast because I'm ready to speak fast. Rob Skiba is another one of the celebrity contrarians in the Flat Earth movement. His popular YouTube videos and podcasts take clues from the Bible's book of Genesis. There's no way you can get a spinning heliocentric globe out of anything in the Bible. Are you just skeptical Cars. of everything? I have become skeptical of everything, and I think rightfully so. Pretty much everyone here, though, is kind of a conspiracy theorist. I'll say that's a common trait, but I think there's a little bit of conspiracy theorists in all of us. I really do. This is going to be fun. It's why many of them do their own experiments. Daryl Marble packed a level on a flight to test if the plane was flying parallel to a flat Earth. So there's going to be some science-y people who say that is a real Bobo experience. They, experiment. They have That's a little basic. She called them basic. I know. It's so simple, it'll go right over your head. The credo for many of these believers, check it out for yourself. Go out and test. You just want them to ask the questions. Why do you believe what you believe? And let you go from there. <laughs> you know? yeah. Because I could tell you something, that, and then you just look at me and say I'm crazy. A lot of people watching this are going to be like, that man well, is crazy. I'm sure they <laughs> probably do. And, and I would say, well, they're crazy for not testing what they think they believe. Okay, I got to give him that, 100%. He's right on that part. If there's something that you believe or think, go test it. That's the nature of science. I guess I really can't fault these guys for like trying to go out and figure out something that they feel is wrong. Good for them. But they are also just blatantly lying and disregarding hundreds of years of science. Hundreds of years of science. And the thing that really bothers me is that younger minds or, or, or minds that are uh, not as educated might believe this because it's convincing. They make some good points, but the science is just not there. It's scary. But in a world of disagreements, large and small, for something as clear as this horizon, the interpretation could be infinite. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed that video, I appreciate you sticking around to the end. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It really does help me out. And go ahead and hit that like button as well. And if you want to share this with your friends so you guys can all laugh together, that would really help out the channel. Thanks so much. See you next time.